Speaking of big games, Jason Fechner has been tabbed to play against none other than the Harlem Globetrotters this weekend at the Iowa Iowa Center. This is going to be ugly, folks, for anyone who's <laughs> going out there. We uh, recently caught up with one of the Globetrotters, Anthony Buckets Blake, to find out what continues to make the Globetrotters an international phenomenon. <laughs> Two hundred seventy games a year, two hundred forty cities, five Canadian provinces, and that's just in North America. Add in hundred and fifty games in fifty more countries, and it's no wonder why the Harlem Globetrotters are an international phenomenon. A long way from eighty three years ago this week in the small Illinois town of Hinkley, just south of DeKalb, where the Trotters played their first game. Coming in, I had no idea of what what you know, how how big the Globetrotters were. Are you totally right? Anthony Buckets Blakes is a current Globetrotter favorite and my trainer ahead of my January 9th professional basketball debut with the Globetrotters' longtime opponent, the Washington Generals. Blakes played in college in the CBA and also in Europe. Then he came home and got the call. I went on a 10-day contract. They signed me after six of those 10 days, and here I am in my eighth season. You learn the Globetrotters' history, how during racially turbulent times, they beat the Lakers for the championship in 1948 and 49. How Globetrotter Nathaniel Sweetwater Clifton became the first African-American to sign a contract with the NBA. And about how they accompanied Jesse Owens back to Germany in 1951, the standing ovation he deserved years before. Once I figured that out, I was like, wow, I want to be here, you know, for as long as I can. And it's not just a mission on the court. Just like this stop at Rock Island's Longfellow School, the team's most active away from the hardwood. A hoop dream come true. What a way to, to, to live your life, to get an opportunity to play the game you love all over the world and give back at the same time. Anthony is a big-time sport, you have no idea. Now, the team, of course, actually started in Chicago, not Harlem, and ironically, the team's first star came from Anawan, Illinois. Now, if you'd like to see the Globetrotters tickets, still available. They run anywhere from roughly $20 to $80, depending on how close you want to sit. That game, once again, this Saturday, January 9th at 7 p.m. at the iWireless Center in Moline. I can't guarantee much, folks, but I will guarantee that uh, this is going to be an interesting night. Are you nervous? Are you anxious? I'm all of it. <laughs> all of the above. As we say in television, stay tuned.